I almost never get up on roofs uh, to test home performance, but in this case, we got a furnace that's inside of an attic, and the flue is a double-walled metal flue, which is kind of hard to seal up if you drill a hole in that, which is called installing a test port, by the way, not drilling a hole. Uh, it could be difficult to do, and it's good that I'm doing this, uh, testing it some way, somehow, because what we have here is uh, my Wohler A450 is showing a carbon monoxide that started out at around 300 and then started going down and then started going up again. So now I'm at 826, 850 uh, parts per million carbon monoxide, air-free carbon monoxide, meaning if you subtracted out all the air and there's still 16% oxygen in this mix, which means that there's a lot of dilution air that's being pushed through it. This fan you can hear. Uh, 4,400 parts per million we just passed. So this thing is literally one bad day away from poisoning the people who live in the house. If the heat exchanger cracks, because this is an old system, all of this carbon monoxide would get into the airstream and start being distributed throughout the living space. So testing, super important. By the way, just passed 5,200 air free and 1200 straight up parts per million. Carbon monoxide, you cannot smell it. You can smell combustion gases though, so if you smell something funny, if you smell something, say something. It's not that hard. Tune in next time.